So, hello everybody and welcome back. First of all, I hope that you had a really nice Christmas season. Um, I hope that all your wishes came true and uh, that you had some time to spend with your loved ones or for yourself. And um, I just wanted to make a small update about um, the little Altair project here. And I went ahead and I made a, uh, a little experimentation board uh, with the Teensy 3.6, um, a driver for the LEDs because they're 5 volts, and um, connections for the switches. And I started out uh, working on the software and I did take um, the available library and code from GitHub and um, oh, it's not a library, it's a sketch. Um, sorry about that. And I took that from GitHub, I cloned the project and I started working on it. And first of all, I had to do a lot of work uh, with the switches because on the original, uh, all the switches are connected to an input of their own on the Arduino Due. And uh, same goes for all the LEDs. So my LEDs are on an LED strip and the switches are organized as three banks of eight switches, um, which does make some things uh, slightly easier, but it complicates other stuff. Um, I can go into that uh, a bit later. Um, yeah, but uh, I had some problems uh, with the fact that uh, the compilers differ for these boards, um, that the IDE is a little bit different. And I basically, I went through all of these things and I changed them or I did quick fixes on them that will need to be reverted later on. But right now I got to the point where I can compile the uh, Altair Duino or the Altair uh, 8800 uh, Arduino Dua emulator and um, it works. So if I turn this on now we can see this come up and uh, just for show I made the LEDs white. Um, color is uh, up to whomever uh, compiles it. And yeah, we can just uh, reset this now and um, we can clear everything and we can then set it to go um, because it has all of the programs preloaded that the um, that the sketch has so uh, we can now start um, the 4k basic so this is now the uh, emulator on the teensy running the 4k basic and if i had a uh, USB serial connection to a terminal, it would be asking me for the memory size right now. So this actually works. Um, it's pretty amazing. And um, we can now, of course, stop it. We can restart it. Everything works. And um, my biggest issue was uh, getting the emulation of the switches um, to a point uh, where every switch um, registers only once. Um, because I don't have um, individual IRQs for each and every uh, switch I have, um, I had to kind of come up with a way of doing it in software. And I spend a lot of time getting that right. Uh, yeah, but it works really nice now. So we can now pick an address. Um, we can examine that one. We can really step through it. And as you can see, we only get one address advance per click. And um, that did take me quite a lot of time to get right. Um, we can then let it continue and it will just work. Uh, I've been trying to get some of the stuff 
to run um, slightly faster but I haven't made any uh, improvements um, for the for the speed of the machine yet um, nothing is optimized it's it's just in there the way that it works um, but overall I'm I'm really happy with it it's it, it's come out quite nice uh, and Apparently, with a little bit of work, I can get more features to run, like uh, getting an SD card supported in there. It should be running right now, but I just don't have one in there, so I can't save anything. Um, but it passes most of the tests that come with the sketch, and I'm really happy with that. Um, this was the point that I wanted to get to, and yeah, I, I'm basically there. A few things are kind of strange, um, like it appears that some of the addresses, uh, the address LEDs are kind of slow to turn on. I don't know why that is, because uh, I'm always writing the whole set of LEDs at once and uh, it can just be some sort of timing issue, uh, but I'll work that out. And um, yeah, I do want to get to the point um, where I can release all the files and, uh, um, and and there's not going to be much coming after that uh, because it appears that everything is in a state where you can already uh, use it to a great extent. I am waiting for the um, the boards. Um, they should be here right now. Uh, apparently they got held up at the import office. I don't know what's the matter with that. Um, I'll try to figure it out. Uh, there shouldn't be an issue because they're they're so cheap. They're they're below any minimum any minimum uh, where you have to pay import taxes. Uh, it could just be that something's wrong with the paperwork, or I don't know what it is. But I'm looking forward to getting everything here and. Uh, then putting it together in a way that it works and uh, maybe then start working on getting the the terminal uh, also running on here and uh, keyboard input running and um, yeah I, I, I'm really amazed that I got this far um, so quickly so uh, with that this is going to be it for this video, a real short one, but uh, I thought I'd show the progress. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.